You're a lucky girl to have a lover who covers your body with precious jewels. What's there to say, dear friend? Mine won't put any jewelry on me at all for fear that some part of me might become concealed from him. You know, whenever I read that passage, I always think that that's the kind of pride and confidence that we should all be feeling in our bodies. Unfortunately, however, most of us are so conscious of our own bodies, you know, of the imagined problems with our bodies, of the flap, the stretch marks, the unwaxed legs, that forget letting your partner look at you in all of your glory, even looking at our own selves without any clothes on, stresses us out because we only ever notice the negative points and that in turn totally affects the way that we think of ourselves. Maybe no one's ever told you this before, but when you feel pleasure, when you give yourself permission to feel pleasure, you actually start to glow. You become almost delicious. And all of those little, little, little things that you've noticed about yourself, they just disappear. They cease to exist. You know, the first step to self-love is to be able to look in that mirror and love what you see because only when you can love yourself can you actually expect the same kind of love from the rest of the world. And so beginning today, you need to start to give yourself permission, permission to feel pleasure in your own body, permission to love yourself, and most importantly, permission to feel beautiful. Because you know what? You are beautiful.